Alright guys, uh, we're back at it again with another Ravenbound uh, speedrun. Uh, my previous world record had been 13 40 minutes 44 seconds, which uh, Pixel beat a couple of days ago. Um, who's my other uh, competitor, I guess, or rival, I suppose in a sense, who we're going backwards and forwards um, uh, on uh, uh, competing for this speedrun just for a bit of fun. No no malice or anything involved as we both are taking things from each other. Um, so off, off what Pixel's run had done, um, he'd uh, perfected, not well, perfected, uh, improved the way in which we can collect the, uh, the weapon that we need. And um, it's made runs a lot easier to start, which is a lot, which is what you want. You want the runs to be quick to start and then just to be lost later because you don't want to be spending 30 40 minutes re-rolling like i had been to get a run working whereas for the most part this is relatively quick and painless outside of you need to make sure you've got the mana that's one disadvantage i guess of this method um and you also don't have the same amount of um uh the same amount of card draws early of different types so you don't build up your power as as quickly uh, I didn't pick up the uh, armor that uh, the Raymer's padding I didn't get that in this run and I've decided I don't actually think it's a hundred percent necessary I think the um, the critical chance 25% critical chance uh, axes are better only because if you've got your 25% there, and then your 30%, your 7%, as well as your 30% whilst frenzied, you're already uh, at 62% um, uh, crit chance. So that acts. So that will. Um, that gives you a good amount of chances to hit a crit. You don't need the 100% crit, and it then leaves you. Yeah that extra option. And then if you were to get a 50% crit card as well, you'd be another 25% up and you'd be at 87%. So I think that's actually the perfect one is um, if you had um, the frenzy plus the two uh, cards to give yourself 75% plus your 30%, you're already at 112. Um, I got lucky, you got the card straight away that you want. I, um, I get lucky with a fair few of my cards, which is which is the difference, I think, in particular with the powering up. As um, minus, I think with the padding might be stronger, but if you get the padding as well as uh, the extra cards that I was able to pick up, you would be laughing. And there was a point where I thought about um, getting an additional relic slot because I had a really good card, but I couldn't find a an easy um an easy spot. Uh, so I knew, I did check to see what my um, relic would be, or hatred would be, uh, before deciding on whether to um, grab another card. And seeing as it was the um, the Vanishing Wealth, I decided, well, I'd take the risk to try and get a good card, which I, was a worthwhile risk. Um, as for a and another armor, I think that could be really good. There is a, um, there's Spored on Perfect Guard. And I think that that could be, again, stronger than the Raymar's padding. Just because you then get some free attacks in, and it stops the um, the bosses in their tracks. Unlike Frozen, which they can, uh, if they've started in animations, they can sometimes uh, continue moving through that. Um, and, if, yeah, a few other things like that. So if you had the forceful on... Um, on a sport on perfect guard that could be better uh, yeah so run is fairly uh, standard as to what pixel did only I still like going for dust I think dust frost soul is my preference but the frost one is my preference only because I know that I can get um, a 20% crit card because of the graves so that might be a way for Pixel to improve his runs as well. If he can find um, a grave that's on the way, that's always uh, that's always going to be there. 
I did find do, do some testing just to see whether that was the case, and it seems to be almost can always or almost always. So it's worth uh, putting the time into learning. Maybe if there's something worthwhile. Uh, so for because I want to get the 25% crit and either the magic potency or 50% crit card. That's two of my card suits as well as wanting the multi-strike chance or the status effect or magic potency for the sky. Grabbing an armor from the dust makes the most sense because that way I complete the card suit. So that's why I just grabbed two armors then. And seeing as they weren't either of the armor I wanted, I kept the um I kept the gold armor off my character in the hopes of getting something better uh, from um uh, in the hopes of getting something better when uh, beating the bosses and using superior inner growth. Uh, so the it, you, you still crit a fair bit even without the Raymar's padding at the 62%, which is why I don't think it's 100% going to be uh, necessary. I did like the idea of putting on the um, golden purse then, but I didn't have the relic slot available for it. Um, to be done and I thought about looking to um uh to grab it um as in to grab a relic slot if as I drive past or fly past you don't know, drive in this game uh, so again knowing that this grave is guaranteed to give me 25% crit and a or a um or a uh multi strike um I well take it every time. So here's where I quickly try and have a look if that's gonna be a relic I would have stopped by and there's another chance just up here for a um a vendor. And seeing as there's no dice, we just had to keep moving on. So now I've already got three really good cards. So what Pixels Run had was he had the perfect well potentially the perfect armor, or like it was a really strong armor and the weapon. The weapon's the only part you really need to have, and then if you get the right cards for the rest, you can actually build a run together. So again, I think that the sub-13 is 100% possible, and I'd I'd like to race for that, but at the same time, you get burnt out running this game over and over. But I definitely think that the um the sub-13 is possible, and much after anything much after that is. Highly unlikely, would be completely uh, or very RNG dependent. Or finding some new um some new strategies with cards and things like that. But to think originally I didn't think it was gonna get much lower than twenty, we've already got it down to thirteen, so I don't know. We'll find something, no doubt. Um Yeah, there is the bug with the uh, troll. Which I choose opt not to use because I think I had enough uh, damage for it to be quicker to kill it. Again, I have a quick look to see if there's the um the relic slot, which I think that one might have been actually. Looking back at that, just just briefly, um, but it would have been nice to have that extra relic slot or an extra two in the end actually. But yeah, yeah, there was no need to um. To use uh, the surge there because he was already dying super quickly. So I saw that I got the multi strike, and that's when I really wanted to try and find a. Um, oh, that might have been one there too. I don't remember what they look like. I know what the uh, what the. The weapon one looks like very easily, but the gamble and the relic one still look very similar from a distance. But yeah, I've made do with what I had. I already had a good deal of uh, cards. Again, you could get slightly better ones. But um, yeah, the fights go relatively uh, well. Having um, you'll see the crits still come in relatively easily and the damage that uh, from that extra magic potency is really helpful as you can see it's dealing like 900 or 600 and then 1200 on a crit uh, 
and then I'm not sure where I'm needing to run, so make mistakes. Now at this next part, uh, I know Pixel found uh, tried something a little bit different, going out to a um, to a Raven Tower. I did both methods on some previous runs and found that there might be a couple of seconds difference, but not enough for me to think that it's worthwhile all the time. And in this instance, I was also looking for the um the relic vendor i was still trying to hunt one down in the hopes of getting that extra 20 percent crit i really think that that could have made a difference as these next couple of fights took a little bit longer um and slowed up my time a little bit and here i almost uh exit myself but realized just in time to bring it back I do think these new bosses are very cool though. As much as when you fight this one, typically you're really overpowered by the time you get to the end. But he's still got cool attacks. Yeah. I'm still hopeful that they might uh, make some more content for uh, Ravenbound. As much as they say it's complete, it's... It is, but it isn't. It's... This one tiny part of it is complete but there's so much more they could add to give the game some longevity which is still a um a glaring issue and why the price for it i think is a little bit a little bit much at full price but that's my opinion i uh, i'm sure that the uh, owner would love to have the price higher if they could as long as they're selling they probably don't mind um but yeah, it was here where I did, I could see that the time was very much doable to at least beat Pixel's time. I knew at this point it was going to be highly unlikely to be able to get the uh, sub-13. That fight against a human really um, hurt my chances of that. Um, and there was the one part that did make the timer take a little bit longer, is just at the third stage. So unlike Pixel, I didn't go down to one health, thankfully. That would, um... Oh, that'd give me a heart attack, I think, if I were to down to one health. Because I'm already not... Not the best at fighting, I don't think. I think that oh, my fighting skills could be, uh, severely improved. Maybe with a controller, but that might make other things different. But yeah, here in the third stage, unfortunately he started with his, uh, stomp attack which I'm not a big fan of because getting past it can be a little bit annoying. Especially because you don't want to just get hit by it too many times and then um, uh, take that extra damage and go down quickly. But yeah, that's a 13-22 uh, time. There is still 30-odd seconds that could be taken off with good, better RNG. But the, the additional method of what Pixel's done has really made it um, possible to keep practicing or keep putting attempts in, as making an attempt every couple of times that it's close is much more... It's much more rewarding than it is just to have to rerun 30 times to get one attempt, and then that could be failed miserably early on. But yeah, that's, that's that. If you enjoyed it, like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. I'll have some no more videos uh, soon about different stuff. I did do a pacifist run that I'm making a video for.